It's been extremely hot last week in England, the first week of September. It seems that autumn decided to come a little later than usual this year, and many of you have told me that you're experiencing something similar where you live. After a hot few days, or a hot few months for some of you, I want this video to be a breath of fresh air simply an inspiration for autumn, something to look forward to in the coming months. The months when trees will get coloured in all shades of red, orange and yellow, when leaves will dance in the air, finally landing down on the ground in one vast golden carpet. when, one morning, we will wake up to the milky-white, thick fog that wraps old towns in mystery. When fast frost will kiss the earth and songbirds will leave for a warmer southern climate. And it will suddenly get quiet. Only the wind and the rustle of old leaves will make music that is autumn. And the world will go to sleep. Really, I have not much else to talk about today, other than the sweetness of these dying auburn-coloured days. Perhaps I could make a few suggestions on how to thoroughly enjoy the fleeting days of autumn from someone who loves autumn very much. Sometimes I feel that seasons pass so fast, so unnoticed, because I forget to look, look and truly see. Autumn is all about noticing. Taking a deep breath early in the morning as you walk the streets of old medieval towns. If you don't have medieval towns, then perhaps historic ones or modern ones, the air will be just as crisp in the late September. Visit old villages and marvel at the beautiful houses wrapped in golden sunrise.
Old houses look so cozy, so inviting this time of year. Chimney smoke streaming up into a pale blue autumn sky and faint light seeping through the thick curtains in the old windows. I want to hurry home, back to the comfort of my bed and a fluffy blanket. Bitter, freshly brewed coffee in hand and smell of cinnamon coming from the kitchen. I watch old movies, read old books and poetry as much as I can. Jane Eyre is what I'm reading at the moment, perfect for the melancholy early autumn days and dark landscapes of English countryside. I read a lot of poems by Mary Oliver and Sylvia Plath nowadays too, and oh how I wish I could write my own, but words seem to escape me as soon as I try to lay them down on paper. Perhaps to thoroughly enjoy autumn, one has to immerse themselves in it, immerse in the deliberate melancholy and poetry of these shorter days. It's truly magical when you notice the colourful details, the bounty that autumn gives rather than bothering yourself with the thoughts of what is lost. As much as I want to stay inside, in the warmth of my home though, I take myself out purposefully on picnics and long walks in the woods. I brew hot tea in the thermos and take it out alongside a thick scarf or a blanket to sit on. I lay it out by a pond or in the woods and sit there quietly, warming my hands with a hot mug. I forage for sweet chestnuts and tart sour apples. Add pumpkin into every dish imaginable, from pies to soups to roasted dinners. Waking up early for sunrise is easier in autumn, and you might just see the indescribable beauty that escapes the eyes of those who only see the grey and rainy days. the little cobwebs sprinkled with tiny dew droplets, a milky path covered in fog, the brightness of yellow leaves on a canvas of white. Every season is wonderful in its own special way, but autumn is the season for the deepest hidden corners of the soul. Thank you for listening to my autumnal musings today. I didn't have much importance to say, but I hope you don't mind. I hope you enjoy the coming season, and I will see you soon. <laughs>